Yo, what's up you beautiful nerds? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. I've been waiting to find this figure. I just went to Target today and I finally found her, so that's super cool. This is my second Suicide Squad figure, so I'm still needing two more. Obviously, Polka Dot Man and Peacemaker. So, um, yeah, super excited. Uh, let's just go ahead and check out the box real quick, a little up close. She looks awesome. Moving on to the side. Not too much, just a general name right there. And the back, of course, shows you a breakdown of King Shark, Harley Quinn, and just the figures that is in this little wave. And then uh, there's a Suicide Squad on top. Not too much to see. Let's go ahead and give this open and check her out. All right, guys, so before we get into it, I do just want to check out the legs for King Shark. Super wicked, really well detailed. Um, even on the feet itself, you can see all the little detail in it. Not just plain plastic, so that's really cool. Um, this piece is a lot more heavier than the one that comes with Bloodsport, so that's cool. So now I officially have two pieces. I have a while to go, obviously. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out the Javelin. I believe that's what they called it. Super nice, super wicked. Some pretty good detailing on it. So, yeah, that's about it with a Javelin. Let's go ahead and check out Harley. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get a real quick 360 of a figure. Uh, so far I gotta say detailing looks nice, the figure overall looks nice. Um, figure has pretty good balance, I had a little bit of trouble standing her up, but not too bad. Um, yeah, definitely excited to add, this has to be, uh, I'd say my favorite character from the Suicide Squad, besides King Shark, which is gonna take forever to get, so we're not gonna talk about him. So let's go ahead and uh, check out our articulation and just a closer look. Alrighty guys, so like I said, the detailing looks super awesome. The face sculpt is dead on if you ask me. I love it. I think we did really good. The tattoo right there, it looks really nice. The tattoos on her arm look good as well. Then, um, let's see, I think we have one on the back as well. Yep. That's really cool. It said, say, property. Oh, now we get it. <laughs> so that's really cool. I never knew that's what the tattoo said till now, so that's really cool. The dress has like all the little riffles and such. Look really nice, really uh, well detailed. I like the little, uh, how she has it tied up on her arm right there. Looks nice as well. The hair looks really good too. It has one single strand like coming off each side, which kind of just gives it a little bit more uh, likeness and just a little bit better in my opinion. But like I said, overall looks super awesome. Um, I don't know what's up with this. I have no idea, that just looks super weird. I just legit noticed it. Um, it's like she's wearing a skin suit. It's really weird. <laughs> so that's one complaint of the figure. Um, I never noticed that. That's actually really weird. I, that's that's definitely a big complaint. Um, but overall, it looks super awesome. I got the tats on her leg right there. Looks really nice. The boots. Let's see if yep. There we go. It actually uh looks really nice. I actually try to say uh, it uh. Wow, what is that word? Focused. There we go. Maybe if I can focus. The boots look really nice as well. So articulation-wise, obviously, the head goes all the way around. It has a really amazing... Like, she can actually look up. She has a lot of movement with her head, which is awesome. So that's definitely really cool. A lot of figures actually lack that. So, yep. We do have the swivel, of course. And we got the joint. We got the joints right there. The elbow, of course. Really great movement. It's not stiff or anything. We have a ball joint right there. That's really good. We got the corset right there. So really good hand movement and really good articulation. Um, blood sport wasn't as good as this articulated, but I guess since he's wearing a suit, it's kind of more limited. And then of course you got the joint at the knee. Looks really good. You got the pins on the leg. Um, a lot of people complained about the pins. I don't think I care too much. But definitely I can see, I guess, fair point. It just kind of looks a little off, I guess. Or if there's another reason, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, the feet have really good articulation as well. Of course, it's on the ball right there, so really good movement all the way around. And of course, it's really good as well, so you can actually kind of lean the foot to the left or right, considering where you're going to put it. So that's really cool. You have a little extra room to budge. So you can actually stand her up and not be too stressed about her falling down constantly because that can definitely get annoying let's see if I get her stand up real quick maybe not there we go 
Nice. So definitely um, super happy I found her. I've been wanting her for a long time. I just didn't really feel like paying online prices. Really, you can buy her on eBay just for a few bucks more than retail. But I just didn't bother with it. If I didn't find it locally, I didn't really care too much. So I do have a uh, blood sport out. Let's check out just the size difference. I think they did really good with size difference. I'm glad there at least is one. That'd definitely be a little bit weird. Um, yeah, definitely really cool. So I have a two out of a four and I cannot wait to build King Shark. That is gonna be super fun to have. Um, I wanted the King Shark from the Flash like TV show. That thing is wicked, but I think it's like, what, 100, 200 bucks or something crazy like that. Eventually I am gonna buy it because I have to. <laughs> To go with my uh, DC superhero, whatever you like to call it, little world, um, TV wise. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this review. Be sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. We do a lot of reviews, top fives, which I'm just starting. Uh, I'm gonna be doing stop motion right now. I just have a, like a crappy camera. Um, within the next couple months, I have a way to get a camera. So yeah, I'm just waiting to pay something off, and then I can get one. And yeah. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. Be sure to drop a like and all that good stuff like I said. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces guys.